So we thought about this morning the seven wonders of the sports world. You've heard the term, the seven wonders of the world. The seven wonders. Now, some of these are not yet in their prime, some in their prime, some out of their prime. But the seven wonders of the sports world. We would say number one would be the greatest young soccer talent of all time, Kylian Mbappe. Won a World Cup for France as a teenager, was the leading scorer in this World Cup, eight goals. Many believe he'll shatter everything. Some say he's Pele, but more athletic and stronger. He just rejected a billion dollar offer to play for Saudi Arabia. Kylian Mbappe is number one. Number two would be Patrick Mahomes. Right now in America's most popular sport, highest passer rating in league history, first player in the history of pro football to have multiple championships and MVPs within his first six seasons, really now just moving into his prime, two Super Bowl wins, two MVPs. Literally, we had a guest on earlier talking to scouts around the league. There's him, there's Mahomes, and then even the second best quarterback in the league falls short. He's done it without great defenses. He's done it without great special teams. Patrick Mahomes is too. Number three for me would be arguably the greatest basketball player ever, and that is LeBron James, who on any given night is still an incredibly dominant player. 19 all-star selections, only player in league history, 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists, and he could have scored far more. Again, what's remarkable is very few injuries. Michael Jordan did not age this well. Magic left the sport early, so did Larry Bird. LeBron, the size, the commitment, the layering, the Swiss Army knife in the history of the sport. Number four has to be a baseball player that we talk about a lot. Shohei Otani. It's incredible. He leads baseball in power stats and allows hitters as a pitcher to hit just 185. So he's arguably the best pitcher and the best power hitter in baseball. It's remarkable. First player to ever throw a shutout in the first game of a doubleheader and then hit multiple home runs in the second game. He runs. He's got power. It's amazing how he generates the power, and he's only 210 pounds. There's nothing like him. Babe Ruth did not simultaneously for any extended period of time hit and pitch. Otani at some point may make a choice, but he remains dominant. Number five, Lionel Messi. Uh, again, with Pele, the great soccer talent, 26 World Cup matches, won the World Cup with Argentina, second leading scorer in this World Cup, seven goals, one assist. He's an all-timer. I think number six is a player that is remarkably still underrated, Steph Curry. The greatest shooter in league history, four-time champ, six finals last nine years. He's as selfless as any great player of all time. Steph Curry can play with Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, multiple head coaches. In a sport that now puts a premium on shooting, he has virtually unlimited range. And number seven, Novak Djokovic. He was number one for 389 consecutive weeks. Now think about that. That is in the the Roger Federer, Rafi Nadal years. 389 weeks, probably, and I grew up with Borg and McEnroe and Connors. When he's playing well, feels like a notch above Nadal and Federer, who are arguably Federer's the second best player of all time. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.